before we start this tutorial i would recommend that you guys check out my intro to unreal engine part 1 and part 2 that will help you get acquainted with the engine after you finish that you can start with this video so the first step would be let's launch the engine when you launch your engine you'll get multiple tabs so go to games tab and just select a blank project we do not want any project right now we'll be creating our game from scratch so select the blueprint project desktop quality preset maximum and we do not require any starter content right now and let's just name it asteroids and create you have an existing blank level in unreal engine let's go to the content folder and inside content let's create a new folder named as asteroids inside asteroids create a level and let's name it asteroids base asteroids level open this level once you open the level you will see a black screen so the first thing that i want you to do is just place a cube inside the level you'll see that the cube appears and also add a directional light now you can see that the cube is lit set the location of the cube to zero by clicking on this button and now let's click the scale button and now scale it scale the cube on a x y axis let's make it large right so we have our basic level ready let's take this cube let's move this cube a bit down now let's right click and click on blueprint class and select pawn so a pawn is an actor that can be possessed or receive input from a controller this pawn is the main player that we will be playing in asteroids so let's name this pawn as spaceship underscore bp let's also create another actor which is a game mode game mode defines all the rules of the game the game mode object is necessary to tell our level what player or what player controller we are going to use so let's just create a game mode let's name it asteroids game mode and let's go to world settings inside world settings there is a game mode override drop down menu here select the asteroids game mode now double click asteroids game mode and here on the right side you'll see all the classes that our game mode uses so right now we just created a default pawn class we created a pawn called spaceship pawn so select the spaceship pawn inside our world settings we have already set asteroids as the default game mode so when this level starts this game mode will start and this game mode will fire up this pawn which is the spaceship bp now if you press play you'll see that our asteroid game mode appears here and also our spaceship bp appears now let's go to our spaceship bp and add a camera Now since it's a top down game let's rotate this and place it above now we do not have any kind of static meshes that we want here so i have created a few meshes let me just show these meshes so this is the asteroid mesh that we would be using this is the spaceship mesh that we would be using I'll add all these assets to a zip file and I'll share that link in the description so that you guys can just download these assets and use them. So let's just create a folder called static meshes and inside static meshes, let's import asteroids and the spaceship or let's import the spaceship. So when you import the spaceship, you'll see that there is a material. And there is a spaceship. So if you place this, so this is how our spaceship looks right now. Let's delete it. Let's go to the material. And here in the material, I want to apply a particular texture to our spaceship. So I have this palette.png, which you can again import. So let's import this palette.png. 
so let the static meshes have all the static meshes and the materials related to it now we can import this palette.png inside our material and set the rgb color to the base color now if you go back and check your spaceship your spaceship will be colored now we have our spaceship ready so inside our spaceship bp let's add a static mesh and you have to set the value of the static mesh to spaceship let's set our camera to orthographic view for now now if you play you will see that our camera and spaceship appears but right now the spaceship is huge so what we are going to do is let's not change the size of the spaceship but let's increase the width of the orthographic camera so let's make it 512 yes so right now let's increase it even further yeah so this is how our spaceship looks right now we have our spaceship and we can actually view that from our camera.